Welcome to DocuSnap, the software for professional IT documentation. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use DocuSnap to scan your Active Directory system quickly and easily. You should know that an Active Directory inventory scan is the basis of every permission analysis in DocuSnap. To start the inventory process, Click the Active Directory button located on the Inventory tab of the ribbon. This launches the Active Directory Inventory Wizard. First, you need to select the company the Active Directory belongs to. You can either create a new company or, as in this example, select an existing one. You are now prompted to enter your credentials for logging on to the domain. When entering the username, make sure to always use the NetBIOS name. It is possible to save the credentials so that there will be no need to enter the password and username again for a later inventory scan. After successful authentication, you can continue with the inventory process. To perform the inventory process for the entire Active Directory, including group policies, you must enable the Scan Group Policies checkbox and specify the GPMC host. Then, you need to select Check GPMC. In this example, the entire Active Directory is scanned, including the group policies. You can now close the wizard and have a look at the data resulting from the Active Directory Inventory Scan. To do that, you need to open Data Explorer. Below the Domain node, you can clearly see the various areas that have been scanned. To view the Active Directory just scanned, click the ADS node. The right pane displays details on the individual systems. The ADS area is subdivided into ADS groups, ADS users, the ADS logical structure, the ADS sites, and much more to provide itemized information. Below the ADS users node, all users found during the inventory scan are listed. Clearly structured detail reports are available under each subnode. They will help you with data evaluation. For example, the ADS User Overview Report lists all users and the groups they belong to. To visualize the group memberships of a user, you can select the Structure subnode below either a user or a group node. This opens the additional Structure tab where the structure is displayed. This concludes my short introduction to the AD Inventory process with DocuSnap. To learn what you can do with the scan data in DocuSnap, have a look at the other interesting tutorials we provided for you.